Hello everyone, how you doing? It's me, Joe, and welcome to the Kerbal Space Program. I've wanted to play the hell out of this recently for, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I, I just really got the urge to play it, so I thought I would. And what we're going to do, instead of playing like a sandbox mode, um, which I did ages ago, it was one, one of the, um, I can't remember when it was, it was about 2012 I think, maybe 2013, I'll, I'll upload a screenshot of it now. But I uploaded a little three part series of this, like years ago, before it was even on Steam. Um, all I did in that was I, I built a rocket, went to the moon, landed on the moon, took off from the moon, went back to Earth. That was pretty much all I did in it. So, um, yeah, I want to do a series on the career mode, because since it's been on PC, it's obviously updated loads now. I think it's actually done. I don't think they're actually going to update it anymore, other than like, patches, maybe add a few things, but it's out of beta, I think, now and everything. So, that's really good, considering when I first got this game, uh, at its very early stage, I bought it off their website, like, back when it first came out. And it, it was good then, so like it's really good now. I've got a flag here which we're going to pick. It's Rick from Rick and Morty. There he is. Show me what you got. So we're going to do that. We're going to do the career mode. Uh, we've got to, should we do it on something different? No, we'll do it on normal because I don't want to waste our time messing about. Uh, what should I call it? I was going to call it YouTube because I've got a bunch of saves on this. So I want to make sure I know that it's um this is one for my YouTube. Let's get started. But yeah, like I said, I used, I've played about 20 odd hours, I think, on Steam, on this game. Um, I must have played about 60 when it was on, uh, before, it, before it was on Steam. So this is our basic space center at the minute. So we you start off at the bottom of the table, and you have to work your way up. I can show you, by go not this, by going on this. So you can see here, we've got the basic start. We've got all this rubbish here, which is <laughs> pretty much nothing, really. And we can unlock the basic rocketry and engineering eventually. And then you've got this whole web of other things you can eventually unlock. So it's a long journey. And to unlock these, you need science. See here, we need five science. We currently have none. So you get contracts as well. So if you look over here, we've got these contracts. Uh, launch your first vessel. So this one it expires in five days. It basically means we have five days to accept it or it disappears forever. But once we accept it, it, it stays, it doesn't go anywhere. So, first off, we got gather scientific data from Kerbin. That's easy. Like, we get a bunch, of, we got 10 science from that, we get 23 grand. So, we'll take that because we can do that. Launch our first vessel, that's easy, just take off. And then escape the atmosphere and orbit Kerbin. They'll come a little bit later on. So, we need to do a bit of science first. I'm just going to the. Should I show you stuff guys around first? Like what everything is? Like this thing here is your pilots. So you got um Jeb, Bill and Bob. They were the first I, I believe they were the first three um Kerbals. I can't remember this one, Valentina. That might have just been the first woman they added. But yeah, these three were the main Kerbals that were in the first ever like Kerbal Space program. So I think that's why they're so popular. And they're pilots, engineers and scientists. So we want Jeb because he's a pilot first of all. Which he should do automatically. What's this? I, I, never, I don't know what this is. I've never used it, so I'll have to look into that. Uh, we've got our observatory there, so if we have a satellite, we can click on that and see our observatory. We've got our launch pad, we've got our runway. Uh, this is where we build uh, planes to go on the runway, and this is where we build the rockets. Let's go on here. Now, before we actually um, take off, before we even launch a rocket, we need a command pod. You see a Rick there, look, there he is. Oh, I've got to shift to zoom in. <laughs> I love it. It should be on the walls as well, does it not do that? Maybe it does it on the later version. Okay, but it'll be on our flag. When we eventually um, put flags down, it'll be Rick on there. It's the only picture I had on desktop, so I'll just put it on there. Um, so yeah, so if you look down on this side up here, we have our pods, so this is where like, the command pod is. We have our fuel tanks, we haven't got any, we've got engines, we've got one tiny little solid booster, that'll get us probably about a thousand feet, and that's about it. Um, nothing out of that, a structural, a girder, like we don't need that, um, a basic fin, a parachute, and some science, which is mystery goo. Now you need to use this a lot. So what we're going to do, the first thing we're going to do is put some mystery goo on here. Okay, and we're just going to call this testing pod test pod save okay now if we launch that we need to try and get some science and I'll show you how you get your science 
So before we even launch rocket, we need to test that the pod's okay. So first off, we're going to check our mystery goo, observe it. The goo doesn't seem to be doing it much right now, but that gives us some science, it's got us three science. Um, and we can keep data. Now we can transmit data when we're in space, I mean, if we have antennas and stuff, but it usually gives you less science because this is like a physical result. So it's like it's best to actually recovery of the result gives you more than it does actually like beaming down the results back to Earth. That's mostly for things like, um, I don't know what that'd be for, like if you scan like a planet or something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, now we've got our little Jeb Jebediah in here, and we can do a crew report. You record the crew's assessment of the situation, and they've got 1.5 science, keep data, and we should be able to get him out. Okay. That's EVA report. The most precarious situation, so he's on a ladder. And that gives us some science. Great. We get down from the ladder. Can we let go? There we go. So we're on the launch pad, and if we do another EVA, actually, I might have to put my other EVA report in here. They go store experiments. They're stored in there now. Now, if we do an EVA on Jeb, we get another 2.4 science. I don't think the space space suit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? No, it wasn't, Jeb. So there we go. Now, if you get back into the ship, now you don't have to get back into the ship, but it just makes it easier. So when you recover the vessel, it um, <clears throat> it takes both. Like, because if, if I recover vehicle now, well, I can't. But if I if I do this and then recover vehicle, or whatever, it'll only take Jeb. If I get him back into the ship, now I can recover the vessel, and it recovers both of them. And it should take us to a report of everything we gathered. And show, so we got twenty two science from all that, I think. I guess we've got all the parts back because we recovered it. So if you crash the ship, it, you lose money basically because you you know you spend the parts and stuff. Jeb got one XP. Um, crew report. You can see where we got the science from. So yeah. So we got a bit more money, and we should have some science. So we should actually be able to unlock stuff. So let's go on to here. And we've got 25 science. So we've already unlocked both of this. So bang, bang. Still got 12, so we might be able to get one of these. No, minimum is 15. So what we've got here, we've got basic rocketry, we've got another liquid fuel engine, another booster, and a little fuel tank. And for engineering, we've got a new cockpit for planes, but I don't think we'll be doing that yet. Uh, a science junior, so this is another way of getting more science and um, an antenna, <laughs> and a decoupler, which we'll get to later. So first off, we've still not done testing, so now we need to go to the launch pad, or the runway, the plane making place. Now, this should work, I want to try something. If I put this here, and then if I um, get a fuel tank, maybe if I use Science Junior instead, where is it? Should just try and use this instead. Oh. Oh, there we go. So this is our science junior. So basically, we use science experiments in there. Uh, we need some mystery goo. We can't actually do that yet. Okay, well we can, but I don't want it to roll over and blow up or something. We'll just put this on here like this. Okay, now we'll just testing plane. Okay, save, launch. So we're gonna do the same again, but this time we're gonna do it on the launch pad, uh, on the runway. Sorry. I know it's a bit of a silly way of doing things, but it works. It gets us, it gets us free science. It us up great quicker. So if we observe the goo, the goo seems to behave very much the same as it does everywhere else around here. So yeah, but we've still got three science for getting that, I think. Um, we can observe this. Materials bay. Seven science for that. Great, keep the data. So these kerbals are learning. You know, They're new to space flight. They need to learn everything. So we do another um, crew report. We'll get him out. EVA, uh, can I store it? Do I get another EVA report from here? No. So it's got zero science, so it's exactly the same as it was um, when we was on the launch pad. So if I hop down from here, do an EVA report, we should get one. You go 2.4 science from there. Now, if what I was I'm trying to do is roll down, because there is a way you can. Where's my spoke? Oh, it's over there. You can roll down because down this hill is actually the grassland, so it catches a different area. So it's like a biome. 
So you have the runway, you have the launch pad, then you have like the highlands, which are the hills over here and the mountains. And then if you go just down off the runway, there's all this grass, which is the grassland. And then you've got like, the beach and stuff. So there's so much you can do. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that, the basics done. Let's climb up and try and get back into the ship. Go on, you can do it. There we go. Board B. Okay, this will cover that vessel. Get a bit more science. Should be able to unlock, unlock more stuff now, actually. But I want to try something first before we do. Actually, no, I think we've got 26 more science. We can just unlock something. So let's go back to here. Right, now we've got general rocketry, which we get a booster, solid booster, bigger fuel tank, which is, I think, double this. So it just means that you can use it because um, we have a limited amount of stuff we can do in our hangar. So we can only build, I think, use 30 parts. So if you use this fuel tank, so this one, you're getting double, but you're still only using one tank. I think it's the same with this. This is double that tank. So, you know, instead of using that one and then that one to be the same as that one. No, sorry, two of them to make, you know, one of them. Which makes it easier. We've got some stability things. We've got some fins, um, a decoupler. So, what's that? Survival, survivability. We've got a heat shield. <coughs> Uh, landing struts, and another parachute, and a service bay, which will come in handy. So I don't know what to go for exactly. I think basic rocketry, I think, is a good one to go for. Let's do it. Okay, so basically now that means we can build big rockets. <laughs> we should have a bunch of contracts to do. I'll show you. Oh, I can't show you now. But I know what they are. So we're going to build our first rocket. We're actually going to take off this time. Um... I don't think let's get the coupler. I think we will just abandon everything. I don't think our uh, parachute will be able to hold it. So let's put a coupler. Actually, you know, it's not. Let's um, let's put a science pod on, and then we'll put like one of these on the. Mm, where should I put it? Should I put it up here on the back? Let's, let's put one here. I think. And let's put another one on as well, just in case, because we we might need two experiments. So if we put two on, we've got two of them. Um, and now I need the struts. Oh, I haven't got the struts. Have I? Oh. What's the crash tolerance of this? Six meters per second. That's very slow. So that might blow up on impact. Um, okay, let's put the coupler on. And we'll put on some fuel tanks. Very basic rocket. And what one should we put on? We want one that's pretty fast. So max thrust 200. So let's just throw this one on just to get us a big boost. Um, first test flight. Okay, save that. Launch. So this should take us a launch pad. Slowly but surely. Okay, one thing I didn't look at is you have these down here, our stages. So stage one, well, the first stage when we press space, we'll launch the rocket. Uh, second, it's, it's a bit awkward, it's the wrong way around. But the first stage will be to, to, cut, um, to use the coupler, which will jettison the fuel tanks, and then it'll just be this left. And then the last stage is to use a parachute to glide back down to Earth. Now, if you look up here our contracts, because so we've got our launch our first vessel, which we'll get immediately as soon as we press space. Um, achieve an altitude of at least 3,500 meters, get land distance from Kurt from where we are now, 5,000 meters, and achieve a speed of 150. So we should do that. We should do most of those. Um, I kind of want to do this test. We haven't done this test yet on the ground, so let's do that. Go okay, an extra seven science. So let's throttle up. You see, put the throttle up full. I didn't put fins on, that's fine. We put our SAS on, it might help. Um, let's go. So if anything happens, we can just jettison. It's really easy to do. So it's our first rocket flight. I want to try and head towards the ocean, because I don't think... Um, oh no. <laughs> yeah, this, this will happen. We didn't put fins on. It's fine. Let's just uh, turn off the engine for now. Try and get some sort of control back. I don't think we're going to because we're very top heavy. That's why it's going towards the back. Let's just put this on just for the fun of it. Huh. 
Come on, keep spinning round. I want to get towards the ocean because I'm going to blow up if I land on the. Uh... While we're up here, actually, let's see, let's observe our mystery goo. Keep pressing the wrong button to look at the uh, thing. Go on, observe mystery goo. Stop moving. Guys, okay, so we've got it now. The jig jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. So yeah, we got it as like from lift off. Now we should land in the ocean if I jettison. So let's jettison. Um, below 5,000 meters, so I can deploy the parachute. So we're gonna lose all that fuel, which kind of sucks because like we didn't do most of it because we didn't have fins on, which was a bit stupid. I want to try and like avoid. Uh oh. I want to try and avoid like um, reverting the flight because you can do that. So I can go like jump back to the launch pad right now. Come on, flip back round. I turned the SAS off because I thought the parachute would like slow me down. Probably doesn't break the parachute now. Oh, okay, we're fine. Okay, so once we go down, should I do a crew report maybe from here? Got some science. So there we go. Now let's speed things up so we can actually land and I can get my Kerbal out, get Jeb out, have a little look around, have a swim. See the, is that, yeah, you can see, you can see the, the uh, seabed. So yeah, we eventually unlo unlock more stuff so we can get flags and eventually we don't have them yet so we can't actually plant flags. Can we spin around so Jeb's not drowning as soon as he hops out? We have, let's try not to do this in the water if that does anything. It does, it got us four more science. It starts to seep out of its holes. <laughs> okay, some science to learn. Uh, can we get EVA? Uh, let go. Oh, I'm going rolling. Get in. You in the water? There you go, he's swimming. Okay, EVA report. I don't think it's basic yet. We've got three signs from it, I think. Um, can we get back in? I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Come on, let me back in. Let's press um, is it F to jump. I don't know. Okay, so this is the part where we can recover vessel, it will just recover Jeb. So it might say we have one oh we might it might say we've got science, but it might not. Well we've got a little bit. No XP gained. Okay, so we see our ship over here. Now if it's on the other side of the world or in space or something we need to recover well we can't recover if it's in space, but if it's somewhere else on in the world you click on this and you can I'll show you. You go on here, click on this and it shows you where it is on the world, so it's over here and then you just recover it. But, when it's close to base like this, you can actually... Oh god, what's happening now? Okay. You can actually see it, it's over here. So you can still just click on it and recover it. We've got all the parts back, a bunch more science. Easy. Easy science. So that's basically what we've got to do. This is the career mode. You have to farm the science. Get as much of it as possible. We've got 38. Wow, so much. Okay, so let's try and get the survival one. That'd be good. <clears throat> We've got 23 left. Now these cost the loads. Like, look, 45 science, 45, 45. So, yeah. We might as well just get this one then. Get the fins. Okay, so we've unlocked aviation, which is something I've never done before. So, that'd be fun. Um, so, yeah, we've got this one down here. Basic science. You get batteries, uh, thermometer. A different comms thing, so a different um, thing for communications. Different, I don't know what this is. Inline action wheel. I know what that is. Is it like an SAS sort of thing? Because I remember back in the old days of Kerbal Space Program, you the pilots didn't consider it SAS. You had to actually put a module onto your spaceship that was SAS. You've got another decouplers here. Some struts, they're really good. Advanced rocket trees, we get the bigger boost thing. This is really good, the, this um, Terrier liquid fuel engine. Because um, you use it in orbit, and it lasts, it, it lasts a very long time. And obviously in orbit, thrust is something easy to cut, like you know make. So you get a lot of thrust from that. And you get to the moon and back in one tank with that, it's so good. <clears throat> okay. Uh, okay, let's build another rocket. I think we still have some contracts to do, so we'll try and make one that doesn't like spin out of control. 